so we have divided this instrument based on their uses first straight chisel has a straight shank and blade with a bevel on only one side the gavel marginal trimmer this is a paired double plane instrument gmt is similar in design to enamel hatchet hello everybody welcome to my channel t4 dentistry in this video we will be discussing about conservative instrument kit basically there are 20 instruments in this kit and as the name suggests it is used in conservative dentistry but it can also be used in any department depending on their uses and you have to purchase this instrument in your second year without delaying let's jump into it we will be discussing about this 20 instruments only so we have divided this instrument based on their uses first exploratory instruments cutting instruments and non cutting restorative instruments so let's see which instruments are in exploratory instruments there are four instruments first mouth mirror second explorer third probes and fourth tweezers or dressing plier mouth mirror it is a diagnostic instrument that has a handle shank and a mirror attached to a round metallic disc at one end it has a mirror head top and a detachable handle now its uses indirect vision to see areas of mouth not accessible with direct vision retraction helps in retraction of cheek to provide better direct view and access trans illumination light reflection from the mouth mirror enables proper view of area tissue protection guards the tongue and cheek against accidental injury from rotary instrument explorers it is mainly a diagnostic instrument which is formed of three parts first handle second shank and third exploring tip there are four types of explorer first straight explorer third arch explorer second cow horn or pigtail explorer and fourth interproximal explorer now comes the uses it is used for detecting proximal carious lesion assessing marginal fit of restoration removing excess restorative material while shaping the occlusal embrasure in proximal cavities probes it is used in dent restorative dentistry to determine the dimensions and features of preparations and restoration tweezers or dressing pliers dental tweezers also known as dressing plier is a diagnostic instrument useful in carrying things to and from the mouth this instrument had two arms with angled tip which is used for grasping or transferring materials in and out of the oral cavity placing and removal cotton rolls for isolation of the cavity placing cotton pellets for drying the cavity one of the modification of dental tweezer is locking tweezer Locking tweezer has a lock in the middle which clips the two beak firmly against each other. It helps in avoiding spillage of anything carried. We have done exploratory instruments. Let's discuss cutting instruments. First, excavators and second, chisels. In excavator, we have hoe excavator and spoon excavator. In chisels, we have chisel, straight chisel, monoangle chisel, biangle chisel and Weddell straight chisel. B, enamel hatchet. and C gingival marginal trimmer ho ho in general is used to cultivate the soil and remove weeds it has similar use in dentistry ho excavator has a primary cutting edge of a blade which is perpendicular to the axis of the handle uses it is used for planing tooth preparation wall and forming line angle commonly used to plane the pulpal floor in amalgam cavity preparation single plane instrument which cuts in four movements vertical pull push right and left now spoon excavator it is a double plane instrument and usually paired it has a semi circular cutting edge blades are slightly curved and shanks may be bi angled or tri triple angled to facilitate accessibility it is used for removing carious dentin and for carving amalgam or direct wax patterns now comes the chisel In general a chisel is a tool with characteristically shaped cutting edge of blade on its end for carving or cutting a hard materials by hand struck with a mallet or mechanical power In dentistry a straight chisel has a straight shank and blade with a bevel on only one side primary cutting edge of a chisel is perpendicular to the axis of the handle it is used with a straight thrust force or push motion it is primarily used for cutting enamel As we discussed earlier it is of four types straight chisel monoangle chisel biangle chisel and Weddell straight chisel hatchet in general means x the hatchet is used to cut and split the wood 
In the industry, enamel hatchets are single plane paired instruments. It can be bin angle, triple angle or parallel with the shaft. They are single plane and are used with push pull vertical movements. It is beveled on one side. It is used to cut or cleave undermine enamel in proximal cavities and on buccal or lingual walls. Now comes the last instrument of cutting instrument, gingival marginal trimmer. This is a paired double plane instrument. GMT is similar in design to enamel hatchet except that the blade is curved and the bevel of the cutting edge at the end of the blade is always on the outside of the curve with the face of instrument being on the inside of the curve. It is available as double ended, right and left, mesial or distal pair. The GMTs are designed to produce proper bevel on gingival enamel margins of proximo occlusal preparations, rounding and beveling of the axiopulpal line angle. They are also used in lateral scrapping motion. Now comes the non cutting restorative instruments. A. Cement spatula, B. Plastic instrument, C. Condenser, D. Carvers, and E. Burnisher. Cement spatula. Cement spatulas are mixing instruments which have a flat and wide working edge with blunt edges. They are available in different sizes and different degrees of stiffness at their tips for mixing zinc oxide eugenol, zinc phosphate, zinc polycarboxylate cements, glass enamel cement, and calcium hydroxide liner. Plastic instrument. This instrument carry the manipulated cement which is in a plastic stage into the cavity. They are referred to as a plastic filling instrument. They are double ended and are available as two types. One has flat nib with blunt edges on one end, one at 90 degrees to the other. Other type has a flat nib and a round cylindrical or condenser nib on the other end. They are also used for checking the convenience form of the prepared cavity. Now comes the condensers. Condensers are used for compacting amalgam or direct gold in prepared cavity. They are, can be also used to push glass enamel cement or resin composite into the prepared cavity. The working ends or the nibs of the condenser may be round, triangular, palerogram or elliptical in shape. The most commonly used one have a round shape with a flat end. Flat faced round condenser allow maximum condensation pressure. They can also be used in narrow or conservative cavities. Now comes the carvers. Carvers are used to shape amalgam and resin composite materials after they have been placed in the tooth preparation. We have four types of carver: diamond carver, wax carver, hollenback carver, and watts carver. Ball burnisher, which is the last. Burnishing is defined as the process to make material shiny or lustrous, especially by rubbing. They are used to make the surface of the restoration smooth, shiny, and polished. They are also used to contour metal bands so as to provide the desired contours of the restoration. They are double ended instruments with angulated shine. Nibs are smooth faced and has different shapes, ball shaped, egg shaped or conical shaped.